In an ABC 17 News special report, every year hundreds are reported missing in the state, leaving families devastated with many unanswered questions. ABC 17's Layla Mitchell took an in-depth look into what some call the silent epidemic of missing people. She speaks with the families it affects and law enforcement that investigate these cases. There's no place for me to go to mourn, you know. I, have, I don't have any closure. The not knowing is horrible. The not knowing alone has left me with PTSD for life, I'm pretty sure. It's a common answer from family members who have loved ones still missing. The feeling of being left in the dark with no updates on their case. You learn to live with it because you have to. It's been more than 10 years since Doris Boyce last saw her son on September 15th, 2011. Charles Bell was seen for the last time riding his motorcycle to Columbia. I didn't know that it was real, you know. I thought maybe he'd gone away for a couple of days and was coming back. Bell's family has reason to believe he was murdered. Three years after Bell went missing, two of his acquaintances were arrested after admitting to witnessing Bell's murder in his own garage. To this day, Bell's body has never been found. They don't call us and tell us anything, which I think they are to fill us in on every once in a while, especially since it's been this long. Doris told me it has not been easy getting law enforcement to share details of the case with her over the years, and often she feels in the dark. I brought those concerns here to the Boone County Sheriff's Office. And I can totally appreciate that that would probably be one of the most frustrating things as a, a family member of a missing person to know that the law enforcement knows some things and will not tell you. Yeah. That's that whole balance is the integrity of the investigation and being open and honest completely with the family and sometimes those don't align to where we can do both. And when cases like Bell's go cold, law enforcement relies on tips and leads to keep the case active. Although it is believed Bell was murdered, without his body, he is still one of hundreds on the Missouri State Highway Patrol Missing Persons Database. At last check, there were 618 total missing adults and 637 missing children on the database. When scrolling through the registry, I noticed that some people on here shouldn't be because they've already been found. I found one teen on the registry who asked to stay anonymous. He was reported missing in Columbia in 2021 after running away from foster care. I found his social media account for him and he told me he's okay and he was no longer missing. He said he never notified Columbia police he was found. But they may not contact the correct per person or people at the Missouri State Highway Patrol to take him off the registry. And so sometimes I could see where that, that could remain that somebody's on the registry but they've been located. While law enforcement values that communication, Families tell me they struggle to find support. I would just see, like to see some justice done. Waiting for justice can be a long and unsupported journey for many families with loved ones missing. It's why Marianne Asher Chapman started Missouri Missing, an advocacy group helping people grieve a missing person. I had no clue what to do when my daughter went missing in 03. Nobody knew what to tell me, in fact. She is still hoping to find her daughter's body, who has been missing for 19 years. We know that Angie has been killed. Her husband killed her in an act of domestic violence. And, um, but we've never been able to find her remains, and he, he won't tell us where he put her. Marianne co-founded Missouri Missing in 2007 in her daughter's honor to help families across the state navigate searching for a missing loved one. We, we can advise the family on the steps they need to take in the beginning. It's critical, it's crucial that they file a missing persons report. That way they're entered into the NCIC. They're known as missing throughout the state of Missouri and not just in one little agency in one little town. Both Doris and Marianne tell me they are reminded every day by the silent epidemic of missing people forever connecting these two mothers as they hold out hope to one day find their children.
and experts tell me it is important to file a missing persons report and contact law enforcement right away if you notice a loved one is missing. For more information and for more resources on what to do if someone you know is missing, you can go to our website at abc17news.com. It's important we talk about it, Layla. Thank you very much. The Highway Patrol does update its registry every 45 minutes for the most accurate information.